There's a couple more down there. I'm going to uh, get those as well. Sometimes you can just feel them. They're soft enough, you know. You can feel they're soft. Let's go ahead and pick some fresh onions. Take our cilantro, and for cilantro, you just pick the outer leaves here. Oh, that is money. That smells so good. Let's put that in there too. Okay, and uh, we picked the garlic uh, yesterday, so we're ready to go. Okay, we've been out to the garden, we've picked our vegetables, and uh, we're ready to make some salsa. So, let's get started. First of all, uh, let's start with the cilantro. We picked that first. We just want to clean this up a little bit, because you know, we picked it right from the root. So, uh, you know, we, I like to take the stems off, uh, of some onion here. Now, we just picked these in the garden, um, and I like to let these dry for a couple days before uh, we use them. So, I'm going to set these off the side here. And we'll just let those dry. The reason we want to let those dry is because uh, the sugars in the leaves can store up into the onion itself and uh, then it, it stores a lot better. So, um, But I have some here that I picked a few days ago and we can go ahead and use these. This garlic I picked uh, just a couple days ago in the garden and uh, let's go ahead and some of that in there too. Okay, let's uh, let's give this a grind up first, and we'll put that in so that we don't. We want it a little bit chunky, so we we'll start there. And we want to just chop, pulse it, and chop it. Okay, that's that's just the way I like it. I don't know if you can see that. But just a nice fine chop on it. Uh, they were grown organically. The only thing we're washing off of these is dirt. Um, there's no chemicals or pesticides or anything on these. Give it one more stir. And it looks a little foamy in there, but that's because we used a food processor. If we would have chopped this all with a knife, it would be it wouldn't be foamy at all. Let's give it a taste here. Mm. That's delicious. Let's recap the uh, ingredients. So I just grabbed a bunch of cherry tomatoes and uh, a few tomatoes that I had laying around. Um, that I picked a couple days ago. Um, so these are the cherry tomatoes, some heirloom tomatoes. These will be ready to go probably. I mean, I could have put these in there right now, but they don't look right, but they're actually a purple maroon heirloom variety. How many? I put in, uh, what did I put in? Probably 10, 12 cherry tomatoes at least, maybe more, and a couple of uh, larger tomatoes. I put in two red onions. I put in three cloves of garlic and uh, some cilantro from the garden and salt, pepper, rice vinegar, and uh, some ground cumin. And uh, so anyways, uh, you know, what a great, it's a great way to uh, use items from the garden and uh, what a delicious treat. It's uh, very tasty.